Hello. What? You want any nerf for gear? Okay. Let me finish this off and we'll get started. What's up YouTube? Danny Viner here. I'm back once again with another nerf opening video. And today we're going back to the rival line with this one. This is the Nerf Rival Roundhouse Double X 1500. The Roundhouse is a 15 round rotating chamber revolver style blaster. One thing to note about the usual uh, first generation rival blasters is that they came in red and blue. However, the Roundhouse is the exception as it only ever came in this notator in this red color, which is perfectly fine. It actually, I think the red color really suits it rather well. Interestingly, even though the Roundhouse does come only in red, it does have a blue counterpart in its slightly different cousin known as the Charger. Hmm, maybe we should have to keep an eye out for this one in the future. But of course we didn't come here to see the blaster in its box, we came here to see it out of it. So let's do that. Including out of the box itself is of course the Roundhouse itself. 15 Nerf Rival Rounds in this little bag. And your usual unwanted instructions, but since it's rival, I'll keep them in my back pocket. Naturally, the roundhouse itself is pretty impressive in its size-wise. As you can see, this is a big, chunky blaster, as you can clearly see in my big hand. It kind of reminds me of one of those big Judge Dredd steam style blasters. It naturally comes with a safety clip, so as you can see, I put that down. I can no longer squeeze the trigger for safety reasons. Your Primer is right up here, so you would naturally prime this back and you would then load your chambered rounds into the top and then you would be able to fire it. Loading the blaster is very simple. You literally pull forward on this, which releases the springs and opens up five separate locations on here, in which inside these five separate holes, you load up to three rival rounds in each one. Then obviously you spring this back forward and it I mean, increases the tension on the springs, loading the rival rounds into the cylinder chamber, which rotates as you prime the blaster, obviously rotating the rounds. Still, a 15 round capacity for a revolver pistol is pretty impressive. The rounds fit in pretty snugly, as you can see here, there we go. I simply load them in and it increases the tension, there we go, so that's how you pretty much load them up. So that's three in the first chamber here, and now we must continue around for all the other chambers. And now with all 15 of the rounds fully loaded up, we simply bring this back down. That increases the tension. We are now fully loaded and we're ready to start shooting. Let's shoot some cans. Here we are, once again, as you can see, I've completely changed around the firing range a little bit round, considering I feel the last one didn't have much of an impact, because I was just shooting like dummy. This time round, as you can clearly see, we've got cans set up on these set of boxes, so at least that way we'll have a little more bang when we hit them. So, as specified, the rival roundhouse has 15 rounds already loaded up into its rotating cylinder chamber. To load, you simply prime on the top right here, prime forward, a, a round has now been loaded into the cylinder. Safety off, we're ready to fire. Sorry about that, I've got dogs and they don't like me when I pull these out, but they're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. That's pretty strong. Quiet down, boy. Ooh. Make sure you prime that all the way forward so you don't jam it. Ooh. And of course, since these are rival rounds, these do bounce pretty hard. So, forward, back, aim, bullseye. Like that. So, this hits pretty hard. Of course, this does not have slam fire for obvious reasons. I'm going to double hand it. Yeah. Accuracy wise, it's pretty good. Obviously, I'm just not very good when it comes to aiming these things. So I'm trying to shoot the cans that are down. Just cut. There you go. 
but literally, as you can see, I am hitting the cans with these rival rounds, and they are flying everywhere from the force of them. So I'm willing to bet there's probably going to be a few dents in these cans, but I have to say, the roundhouse, whew, it's got some good kick to it. I like it. And as you can see from the three cans I did actually hit, yeah, they all got uh, pretty well dented from those shots. So, hey, those rival rounds are no joke. So, yeah, just pop them back out into place if I can. Oh, this one, I don't think it's going to pop so easily, unfortunately. This one, I'm pretty sure I can. There you go. So hey, I guess my getting my siblings to drink all this pop certainly paid off. <laughs> Good on you guys. And with that out of the way, we've just had a look at the Nerf Rival Roundhouse Double X1500. And I have to say, considering this is my second Rival Blaster, much like the others, it doesn't disappoint. But then again, considering the fact that the Rival series does hit a lot harder and is literally, I mean, made for a much adult audience, of course it's going to appeal to me. And I certainly had the enjoyment literally firing it. Obviously, um, I did have a slight issue with my second load because I didn't realise how far you have to you have to pull this forward. And it, there's no spring. You have to push it back in yourself. So you have to take that into account when you're actually firing this. But other than that, it fires well. And you could see the actual force behind the shots when I fire them. So that's decent. May have to look into getting a rival type um skirt you know I mean like optics or something for the top because yes you can put optics on the top and ironically you could even put one here on the priming handle for some reason i don't know why you would but it's there if you want the option as is the case with many of my nerf blaster videos i do like to obviously view many of these blasters in as positive a light as i possibly can and this one once again much like almost every other nerf opening box video i do is always usually going to be viewed as positive is there negatives i can say about it i don't see any to be perfectly honest as i said this is a 15 round revolver essentially um does it work as a sidearm well um considering how big it is i don't know if you possibly can because i'm not sure how exactly you can holster something like this but as i said it's rival it hits with force and Honestly, I do actually really do like the look of this blaster. It's really nice. And I'm glad to add it to my Nerf collection. I mean, this is officially my second rival blaster. Makes me curious as to what other <laughs> blasters there are out there and what other, I mean, Nerf style lines I could end up acquiring for um, my collection. So, hey, positive once again. I do enjoy this blaster. It will certainly go along well with my <laughs> other one. So yeah, that's a look at the Nerf Rival Roundhouse. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and be sure you know, to keep your eyes out for any future videos that I do. Every like and subscription you give me helps my channel a lot. And I'll see you all in my next video. Laters.